Okay, so this video is about Signet Builder. So if we go to Builders, here's Signet Builder. And Signet Builder requires a ring rail to start the builder. So I have one out here. If I click on that, it is a US size 10, as we can see over here in Properties. So let's go ahead and get busy. So when we click this, it builds a signet ring. And as usual, we have command line options. We have viewport handles that we can move and scale and size. And then we have the interface. OK, so the first thing to realize is uh, the shape of the top of the signet. We have a library here. Um, pretty simple, but I don't usually make really crazy signets anyway. Maybe this cushion would be a fun one. Okay, and then um, the top length is locked so that whatever you do to the top length, it also uh, scales the width symmetrically. And so you can see the lock is locked to symmetry, and so top width is grayed out. It's not being used. If you uncheck the lock, then this um, activates, and so does the handle here. So if you watch right here, you can see that it disappears. And so now you can scale this so that it's not square. And uh, of course, if you want a particular number, you can type that and hit enter. So this is 16. This is 17.81. If we hold down shift, then it'll snap to tenths. Okay, so there's, oops, I let up before I was 17.5, uh, 16, there we go. Okay, uh, the next um, function is top side taper. So here's the top side, and there's the taper. So if you want this to be more in line with the ring, you know, kind of like that, or if you want this to be pooched out a little bit, you can do that. Top thickness is next. Okay, and so there's that. And as you move that, it will change the, uh, the angle, the top angle. So what I typically do is, is make this, uh, and here's the thickness from the finger rail, 3.42. Um, usually you want to do this first and then do this second because it will change. Okay, um, next is side thickness. It's at 2. I think I'll leave it there. Um, next is bottom width which is this handle, seven, can taper this in. So you can see this builder, the, the, the biggest thing we wanted to do with this builder was get this actual signet class ring kind of ward ring uh, shape. And uh, a lot of times um, other builders I've seen, you know, it uh, especially when this is round, but this is as close to round, you know, without being round. Um, is that when the, the finger hole gets cut in, then it tends to come in like this and then go straight. And what you really want is this nice angle. So that was our goal with this builder, among the other things that it does. Here's the bottom thickness, which is right here. And um, that is how that works. Uh, now, right now, the bottom of this is rounded. And that is because we have this bottom shape on round. So go figure, it's round. Um, if You'll notice these two are grayed out as well. If we go ahead and switch this to flat, then these will activate and we'll get some new handles. So now instead of rounded, the bottom is flat. And we have the bottom side taper, which is here. And so you can have this be flat and in line, or you can kind of have this chamfer here and get this shape, okay? And then you can also change the fillet here so that 
you can get it kind of more back to well you can get it back to round if you want or you can uh, you can have this be pretty sharp we don't make it um, a hard edge uh, or you can have it just uh, filleted a little more like so and so um, that's that's all the controls of this and of course like any other builder if you hit enter it'll make the geometry and away you go. All right, thanks.